Scholarship for Teaching and Learning, SOTL, is an approach to studying teaching and learning that focuses on studying the students in your own classroom and trying to understand their learning so that you can improve your teaching. SOTL has a number of purposes. One is to improve your students' learning by improving your own teaching. But a second really important purpose of SOTL is to contribute to broader understandings around teaching and learning so you can improve not only your own students' learning and your own teaching, but the learning of students in your department, to your program, at your university, and more broadly in higher education. Good practices in SOTL depend on the context of the work that's being done. So what good SOTL looks like for a physics professor or an electrical engineering professor might be different than an art professor or a dance professor. But in general, good SOTL practice focuses on questions that matter about student learning and uses appropriate research methods to investigate those questions and does it in an ethical way and shares that work with colleagues. Faculty should engage in SOTL because one of our main jobs as faculty is to help our students learn. And SOTL is an effective way for us to continue to get better at helping our students learn. I think we also should do it because it's a good community to be in to be working with your colleagues, to be working with your students to better understand what's happening in your classroom is empowering, it's motivating, it's exciting, it's renewing. So it's a good way to stay fresh and current as a faculty member also. Well, I think we can involve the students in SOTL by partnering with them in our research, asking them to help us understand what's it look like when you're struggling with something? How could I tell or how can you tell when you've really learned something deeply? And so students can be really valuable partners in helping us understand a novice experience in our classroom, the challenges of learning, and some of the joys and pleasures of learning too. If you want to publish SOTL work first, I think you need to read some of the literature that's related to what you want to publish and where you want to publish. So read in the journal you're thinking of publishing in and look for examples of similar work even done in different disciplines to give you different insights and different understandings of the literature. And, and then last, I would say recognize that many of us were trained to publish as scholars in one field. and so. Publishing about teaching and learning can feel like a challenge to begin, but many of the skills and habits you have as a disciplinary scholar from your training will transfer over to help you publish around teaching and learning too. I'm Peter Felton, and I encourage you to work with your wonderful colleagues in SEDU to improve your teaching and to make this university even better for all your students. Mm -hmm.